Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about a one more concept in DBMS that is attributes and its types. So first let us see what is an attribute. So an attribute is a properties or characteristics that describes an entity. So this is called an attribute. For example, consider an entity, consider an entity as a student, student. Now the attributes are, first one, a role number which describes the entity student, name, gender, etc, etc. Everything comes under the attributes of this particular student entity. Right? So, now you got a clarity about what is an attribute. So, it, it, give, it is nothing but a properties or a characteristics that describes an entity. Right? So, usually in our relational database management system, we call these attributes as a columns. Okay? Because in the RDBMS, we are representing the data in terms of rows and columns. So, the columns we call it as a attributes and rows we call it as an entities. So, the properties that describes the particular entity are called as an attribute. Now, we will see what are the different types of attributes. What are the different types of attributes? So, types of attributes. The first one Composite attribute. Composite attribute. So, what is a composite attribute? And this attribute so an attribute which can be divided. Further to form an independent attributes, independent attributes is called composite attribute. That means if you consider any one attribute and if you can divide that particular attribute into further parts, subparts, which makes each subpart as an individual attribute. So that we call it as a composite attribute, okay, which can be divided into subparts. For example, example for this uh, composite, if you consider name, name is an attribute, name is an attribute, right? So if you consider the entity student, so name is one attribute of a student, right? So name can be further divided as first name. middle name last name right and again these are uh, individual attributes these are the individual attributes so the name can be further divided into different parts the uh, subparts okay so this we can say it as a composite attribute so the attribute which can be divided further okay then the next one so this is a composite attribute. The next one is a simple or atomic attribute. Simple or atomic attribute. Simple or atomic attribute. So here an attribute which cannot be divided further
which cannot be divided further is known as a simple or atomic attribute so which can't be divided right so for this example was if you consider the student entity so a roll number we can't divide this roll number okay and uh, mobile number mobile number can't be divided okay email we can't divide this email okay so this can be called as a simple or atomic attribute so these can't be divided further into subparts okay so that's why these attributes we call it as a simple or atomic attribute right the next one the next one key attribute key attribute so this key attribute is an attribute which can be used to identify an entity uniquely so the attribute which can identify the entity uniquely we call it as a key attribute so usually we call this as a primary key so the attribute which is having the primary key property is comes under this key attribute right so for example coming to the student uh, uh, table or a student entity so the example for the key attribute for the student is a register number or the roll number so the roll number will be the unique right so we can identify the entity with the help of this roll number so roll number will be the unique identifier to find the entity okay to identify the entity so example is roll number of a student roll number of a student so this is a key attribute and the next one next one single valued attribute single valued attribute so this is an attribute an attribute which can hold only single value only single value okay so example example age so age of a student will be only one okay and similarly age gender gender is also an attribute which comes under the single valued attribute so gender will also be having only one value okay and obviously the roll number will also comes under this uh, single valued attribute because roll number will also be only one value so any ad an attribute can satisfy a multiple properties that means one attribute can be a key attribute and a single valued attribute or any other uh, attributes property right so one attribute can satisfy multiple properties so like this roll number will also comes under the single valued attribute apart from the key attribute right so an attribute which can hold only a single value which can hold only a single value and the next one multi valued multi valued attribute multi valued or multiple valued attribute so this is an attribute which can hold multiple values multiple values or a set of values or a set of values right so coming to the example for this multi valued attribute see so one is a contact contact number of a student because so one person can have a multiple contacts one mobile number one landline number right so multiple contacts so this particular attribute can have a multiple values similarly email email so one person can have a multiple email ids 
okay multiple email ids so every email id is a unique one but one person or one student can have a multiple emails so that means multiple values can have for this particular attributes now one more skill set of a student skill set of a student so one student can be good at c programming and a python one one student can have a more technical knowledge on different uh, technologies so that means the skill set we also comes under this multi valued attribute okay one the attribute which can hold multiple values right so this we call it as a multi valued attribute the next one the next one derived attribute derived attribute so this is an attribute which can be derived from which can be derived from another attribute another attribute right so the value the value for this particular derived attribute will be calculated from another attributes so such attribute we call it as a derived attribute derived attribute so example so age can be calculated from date of birth date of birth so this age will be considered as derived attribute and this date of birth will be considered as stored attribute stored attribute similarly percentage will be getting from the marks so without the marks we can't calculate the percentage right so percentage can be derived from the marks so this will be the derived attribute and this will be the stored attribute so the attribute which is derived the value of that particular attribute which is derived from another attribute is called derived attribute okay so these are the different types of attributes now i will uh, show you the i mean i will demonstrate all these attributes with a small example let us take one student table and we'll see what are the attributes and what type of attributes in that particular table is having now let us take the student table so this is a student that means a entity type okay entity type now i am taking the roll number name age date of birth gender contact email and percentage percentage so this is a table okay this is a student table we are having the student table so in this table we are calling all these columns as an attributes all these columns as an attributes right now we will consider okay these are different rows right now this roll number comes under key attribute single valued simple and it cannot be multi valued okay it cannot be multi valued right it cannot be multi valued attribute because it stores only a single value it cannot be a derived attribute because this is not derived from any other attribute okay so key single and simple and coming to the name name is a composite attribute which can be further divided right because name can be divided as so this is a composite attribute and age age will be simple single value and also derived 
it's not a multi value because it doesn't take a multi values right so date of birth it will be stored stored attribute and also it will be the single value because date of birth will also be a single value right gender so gender will be single value single value and if it is a key, is it a key attribute no no so key attribute means unique identifier and single valued okay it's a simple attribute it's also a simple attribute it can't be derived further right age can be derived further by uh, uh, by taking a month year and uh, day right next contact contact will be it can't be the key attribute because so a student can have a contact number or may not have a contact number so here the key attribute should be unique and it should not be a null so this is not a key attribute it's a single it can't be divided further so it, it comes under the simple attribute and uh, see it's a single value oh, sorry, sorry it's a multi value not a single value it's a multi value because one student can have a multiple value right multi value multi value attribute okay and also simple attribute and also simple attribute and this is also similar it is a multi value and also simple it can't be divided further and percentage is a derived percentage is derived similar to our age okay it also single value and also simple simple attribute right so like this one attribute can have a multiple properties one attribute can have a multiple properties so these are all the different categories of attributes so the first one composite simple or atomic single value multiple valued or multi valued key attribute derived attribute so these are the different types of attributes in dbms so an attribute is the properties of a characteristic which describes the entity is called as an attribute right so hope you understood this attributes concept and if you are having any doubts regarding these attributes feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much